uh, just part of it, starting at verse 18. Because we're about to worship. Well, who are we worshiping? Who is our God? And if someone came in and said, who's this God you worship? Well, he has a lot to say about himself. For this is what the Lord says, he who created the heavens. He is God. He who fashioned and made the earth. He founded it. He did not create it to be empty, but formed it to be inhabited. He says, I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret from somewhere in a land of darkness. I have not said to Jacob's descendants, seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Gather together and come. Assemble you fugitives from the nations. Ignorant are those who carry about idols of wood, who pray to gods that cannot save. Declare what is to be. Present it. Let them take counsel together. Who foretold this long ago? Who declared it from the distant past? Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no God apart from me. A righteous God and a Savior. There is none but me. It's nine times in that verse. It makes that point. And then here's the call to salvation, the invitation. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. Amen. Lots. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to open in prayer. And then as I said, the praise team will lead us in the worship. So God, we worship you. We praise you. We honor you. You are God, and there is no other. You speak the truth. You, you created this earth that we see, Lord. Uh, you, you love us. You sent your son Jesus to die for our sins to, so we could be reconciled to you. And God, and you speak the truth. God, I pray this morning that our hearts, we, we would worship you in spirit and in truth, as you say in John's, John 4. Lord. And I pray that we would give to you and also receive from you. So God, we just pray for your blessing, for your Holy Spirit to stir us up this morning. May everything we do be fitting and acceptable in your sight. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. How's everybody doing this morning? Amen. I, I didn't have to say you can all stand, but that's awesome. We're already standing up. We're all ready to praise God. Amen.
Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Alfredo. Uh, I was born and raised in South America, in Chile. Uh, I migrated into Canada back in those days with my folks. I was only a preteen back then, and uh, I've been here ever since, mid-80s. And I am married to a wonderful girl from Guatemala. She's not here today, but I will bring her so you guys can get to meet her. And my son, he's back there, Joaquin. Joaquin, lift up your hand. That's my son. Uh, so my son is a very good friend of Levi's, and uh, they, they attend Heritage Christian School Academy, sorry. And that's how they kind of met, and that's how we kind of met with parents, Ben and Esther, and that's how I'm here. It's, it's, it's a small world. This is a very nice song, Come Now is the Time to Worship, written by a Canadian songwriter, Brian Dorkson, a very popular song across the entire globe, and he just happened to be in town this week, so I went and checked him out, and he's such a blessing. Come Now is the Time to Worship, and it's just an invitation to come and to sing to God just the way you and I, we are, right? So let's sing together, and by the way, this song is celebrating 35 years this year.
take time to greet those around you or even a little bit farther away from you. I forgot this, the, uh, what do we do is the eight, we go to, uh, oh, this one. I don't have the second page. So we go to eight. Okay, we're gonna transition now to a time of announcements. some of the weekly events we have going on here. So we have, as things wrap up and wind down, So we have a, a leadership meeting this week, team meeting, for those who are on leadership. Oh, it's about seven of us when we gather together. So that's Wednesday. Just if, if you can remember, just you can be in prayer for that as well, too. Just the, uh, the decisions we make. We want to be stewardly, uh, responsible, be led by God's Holy Spirit as we just decide things. Sometimes it's not big decisions, but sometimes it is, like financial things, like Things like the stair left and that, just purchases we want to make. So we want God's wisdom and guidance in that. Women's Bible study is continuing Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. I heard there were 15 women last Wednesday. Praise God. Yeah, so that's good. I, I guess that's a record or that's a, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, bless you, Carol, as you lead and just the others I think who are there as well. Uh, prayer night, the next one will be a week from Tuesday, October 15th. So we met last, uh, we had five people last Tuesday, we prayed. Uh, okay, yeah, men's Bible study, we had our first one as well, Wednesday evening. This week, because of the leadership team meeting, we will not be meeting, but we'll meet again at my house on the 16th. And then one of the last two sessions in October, uh, we're planning to meet at Stanley O's house so he can participate as well too. So the next one will be at my house, but one of those final ones, we're going to plan to have it at Stanley so he can be there. So men, come on out. We did James 1. We'll do James 2 in be a week from Wednesday. Okay, that, if you can read that, maybe you can. How's that from back there, Ben? Okay, the harvest, okay, no, back one, please. Okay, harvest party. October 31st, as we did last year. I think last year was the first annual, but just, uh, just 
this is our sort of our, our wholesome alternative to, to Halloween. Now, I remember, I remember when I was a kid, candy was a priority for me. Maybe that was, maybe it was too much of a priority. But just, but sometimes parents are not comfortable with Halloween and what happens there, and I understand, but then the children miss out on all that candy. So it's just, this is the, again, the wholesome alternative, the substitute where they can have fun, more of like of a fall, a harvest theme and not a demonic theme to it. And uh, where there's also candy and treats. And maybe a little bit less candy than, than last year. Maybe last year there was too much candy, but that's just, maybe I'm the only one who said that. But anyway, that's happening. So that's a Thursday, October 31st. You'll see more announcements about it and maybe more information will happen about it. But it's designed for kids, well, if, you know, adult supervision, games and stuff. And did I mention candy? There's candy. Yeah, yeah maybe you're right, Mark. It'll be less candy than last year. The parents say yay, the kids say boo. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Moving right along. Okay, Anisha, it's her birthday today. How old is she, Florence? 15, okay. And we wish she, were, she was here, but yeah, we wish her a blessed birthday, your granddaughter. And Shirley, where is Andy? Shirley, your wife this week on Wednesday? What? Thursday. Maybe that's right. Okay, do I have, do I have my, is my math wrong? Okay, and it's her birthday as well this week. So if you, if you know Shirley, you want to reach out to her, you can wish her a happy birthday on the 9th. So none of the people with birthdays are present, so we're not going to sing. But maybe we have a... Ah, oh, Maurice and Layla, and they're not here either. We can't sing to them either. We'll sing worship songs, but we're not singing happy anniversary or happy birthday. All right. Okay, so it's their birthday. Sorry, go back a second. Which day was it, their anniversary? No, that you're doing great, but just wondered which day of the week it is if you want to reach out to Pastor Morris. October 8th, thank you. So that's Tuesday, that will be. And then, I think lastly with the offering now. Yeah, so um, just, just a note, just something happened this past week, just want to, again, talk about the expenses. We, we got a new fire alarm panel installed there. Uh, it was just long overdue. The one we had, I think, was maybe 20 years old and was also had failed. It was alarming. So we got the update, uh, like the main installation. There's still some follow-up work to do. But for example, like that's about a $5,000 expense, which is it's money well spent. We need it. Um, it's, we need it for our insurance and all that too. But just, just to let you know, these things happen from time to time. And that's why we always want to have God's wisdom for how we spend money, just on necessary things. Um, and also, we thank you for your generosity and giving. And so I just want to pray for the offering and thank you for your faithful tithing that just keeps the ministries of this church going. Uh, but it's also, there's an invitation in this just to be generous. As God says in his word, just whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly, but whoever sows generously will reap generously. And let me just read from Proverbs 11 as well too. One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper, and whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. So that's God's word. As you give and you are generous, just in, in all areas where you see people in need, God will bless you. He will entrust you with more to give to. So um, I just want to pray for the offering. So God, thank you. You are a generous, loving, gracious God. You know how to give good gifts to your children. And you want to teach us, you want to train us to be generous as well, to take you at your word, to believe as we give away, you will give us more, Lord, such that we will never lack, Lord. And your word also teaches, Lord, if we hoard it, if we keep it to ourselves, we will have even less, Lord. God, we want to believe you, we want to trust you, we just want to have open hearts to give. And God, thank you for all the faithful givers in this church. Just keep the ministries of the church going. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing three more songs this next worship set. This is a 2-3 instead of a 
Colossians 126 and 127. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory.
Thank you, worship team, for leading us in those songs. And what I'm going to do now, before the children go off to Sunday school, I just, I thought if they could gather four, it might only be three of them, or four of them, if they could gather here and just sit, I just have a children's message for them, or maybe at six. Even if you're not going to Sunday school, yeah, Adele and Manoa, you can come too. And then, uh, yeah, we'll find our way around here. Okay, we can share this. Okay. So this is, as you can see, I've got a couple of flowers here, and I know they're a little bit different size, and they're a little bit different color. But what else is different about these flowers? Chance. The size. Yeah, the size. That's one thing. Adele. The amount of leaves. Yeah, there's a lot more on this one. Something else, maybe a little bit more than the appearance. They look a bit different, but there's something really... Yeah, yeah one has a tag, you're right. <laughs> now, why is that? I kind of left it there maybe as a clue. What's different about these flowers? Maybe I know because they're in my hands, but... Actually, Chance, you feel that one. Okay, and then feel that one. Sure, that yeah. one's real and that one's fake. Yes! <laughs> Shootsy scores! Yeah, okay. Well, you didn't have them in your hand, Joaquin. Well, so, this one is fake, it's plastic, and this one is real. And, uh, like, this one I just cut from the garden there this morning. And it has a bit of a, a scent to it as well, too. So now, if you took these two flowers, and you put them out on, like, your front lawn, and they were exposed to, like, cold and sun and wind and rain and snow and all of that, which one is going to last longer? The fake. Okay, what do you... What would you say, um, Sable? Yeah, the fake one. This one would last long. It's kind of sad, this plastic one, which is fake, and this real one. The real one will die out first. So after a while, this will just kind of disintegrate, become dust, and disappear. Okay, so this one, plastic, fake, lasts longer than the real one. Something else. What about this plastic flower and this rock? Which one is going to last longer? Yes, Chance. Yeah. And this. Why, why do you have a rock? Well, to show you. Well, I brought it. I, I have a rock because I brought it. I put it in my hand. That's why it's there. But you, you don't need a rock. Yeah, you do. We do for the lesson. But a good question. So, yeah, this rock, like this plastic flower, it'll last a long time. But, you know, with sun and with cold, eventually, I don't know, 10 years, maybe less than that, it'll sort of break apart. It'll just kind of fade. But this rock, probably hundreds of years maybe, like it kind of wears a bit too, it loses a bit. But this will stay together as a rock for hundreds of years. So this is real flower lasts the shortest amount of time. And then the fake flower lasts a little bit longer. And then the rock will, will last longer than them. But this rock won't even last forever though. Like eventually it does wear, break down, just becomes sand. But you know... I have something near me, nearby me, which will last even longer than the rock. Do you know what it is? What will last even longer than a rock, than a stone, or even a mountain? What, sir? Life. Oh, yeah, life. Something near me, actually an object that I have near me. The word of God. Yes, Adele gets it. The word of God will last longer <laughs> than the rock, than the flower, than the other flower. Um, it's, it's like there's a word in uh, Isaiah 40, verse 8, and it talks about grass and, and flowers. It says, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. So what God has written here, it will last. It will never fade out with the way that these things do fade out. I know this, this book, the actual paper, will eventually deteriorate. But what God has said, what he has spoken, will endure. It's final and it's permanent. 
And it's good news. Okay. So remember that. Remember, rocks last a long time, yes. Mountains, they're going to last a long time as well, too, when you look at them. But the Word of God lasts even longer. So I'm going to pray and give thanks, and then I'll release you to Sunday school. So God, we thank you for your Word. We thank you for the solid ground you've given us that we can build our lives upon. Thank you that, God, you speak what's true, that it lasts, it endures, and it's proved true, Lord. And I pray for the children, and I pray for the Sunday school lesson, that they would learn as well that the Word of God can be trusted. It's true, it's solid, it's enduring, and it lasts forever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I bless you, I release you to go to Sunday school. And I'll just move a few things aside. We're, we're good, I think. Okay. So we're going to do the congregational prayer now, and then, then the message from Daniel. And I'll just, I'll tell you that just, it's several things that I have that I know of, and I, I didn't get all that much more. Um, where is Steve? You're here worshiping with us. Thank you. But you were in the hospital this week up until Friday, was it? When did you get released? Yeah. Friday, okay. So we want to just lift up your health and prayer and the kidney stones especially. We'll pray for that. We'll pray for Dante, who is playing football in Regina today. So we'll pray for traveling mercies for him. I mean, we're, we're not seeing him so much because he's playing football, so... We pray he plays well, of course, and yes, it'd be nice if, if they win. I guess me and him will try to be a little bit more neutral, but yes, I want him to win, but I pray that he plays well, that God blesses him through that football game. And I want to pray for, for peace in our world. I mean, it's October now. It's, it's, it's over a year now just uh, for the nation of Israel. And uh, yeah, just pray for that to end. I mean could go on and on about that. We know God's love for his people. He will never take away his love for his people, Israel. But it's a nation which is surrounded by neighbors who hate them. Okay, there's no other country in the world you know, where all the neighbors hate that one country. But that is just where Israel is in the world today. So we just want to pray for that. Pray for those who are persecuting and attacking as well, too. We'd love for them to repent and turn as well. So we'll lift up that whole situation to God. And then I got a note from, uh, from Regina. Just, you have an ex-co-worker who gave birth at 29 weeks. So uh, pray for the health of the, of the baby and the mother. And also pray for the salvation of the family. What's the mother or baby's name? Okay. We'll pray for the baby. Okay, so we, just, we don't know the name. But sure, thank you for passing that on. Okay. Um, and Al. Al. This is your last Sunday with us for a little while, right? Yeah. For how many months? Probably two or three. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Al, it's been so good to have you here with us. We've seen, yeah, a hard circumstance that, you know, for, that made us see you more often. We've been blessed to have you in the congregation. And I know you're heading south, and you might be working with Samaritan's Purse um, for the hurricane damage that just happened there, so... So God bless you as you go, right? Just, um, yeah, the life changes for you are still so new, and this is just a good thing to do. Go help out with hurricane disaster relief, which you have done before in Japan. So anyway, so I'm going to pray for Al during the congregational prayer, but, but just know as well, too, this is the last time for, you know, maybe four months or something like that. We'll see you, so be sure to give him your blessing before we go. Okay. Let's come to our God in prayer. So, Father God, we, we love you, and you love us, Lord. And you're a good, good Father. And every good and perfect gift comes from you, Lord. So, Lord, in these situations that we have, just uh, areas of, of our lives, the lives of our loved ones where we need your help, Lord, we just, we bring them before you, Lord. We bring them before you with a confidence, Lord, that you are good, you are wise, you are powerful, and you hear us, Lord that the prayer of a righteous person availeth much. And so, God, we, we give thanks that Steve is here today, that he can worship with us, that he can help lead worship, Lord. Thank you. He's, he's looking well. He's out of the hospital, Lord. But, Lord, it's been several visits to the hospital in the past few months, Lord. And I just pray specifically 
for the kidney stones, Lord, that that could just be rectified, that his body uh, would process food and minerals correctly, Lord. Pray for just shalom in Steve's digestive system. And God, I pray you'd give the doctors wisdom. What, what treatments does he need, Lord? What, what needs to be done so that this uh, doesn't become a recurring problem for him as it has been, Lord? So I pray you'd bless Steve with health and healing, Lord. And may he continue to be here, just available for us to lead worship on Sundays, God. God, I lift up Dante as well, and, and the football team, and the Calgary Colts, Lord. And just, God, yeah, we, we pray that they play a, a good game. Pray for Dante. Pray that he can play well, that he can play his best, Lord. The, the team safe on the road as they travel, Lord. God, yes, and um, according to preferences, I, I prefer that they would win, Lord. But may they just have a blessed time. Win or lose, Lord, may they be blessed. I just bless Dante with his future as well, too, Lord. This may decide that a certain door maybe closes for him or a new door opens for him, Lord. We're not sure, Lord, but we put it into your hands, Lord. So, uh, yeah, bless Dante and the whole team and the trip back. And his family as well, too, who's just, uh, yeah, passionately watching what their son does. God, we pray for, for peace in our world, specifically, Lord, in the land of Israel, Lord. Lord, we pray that the, the, the bombs, the rockets, the fighting, the attacks would stop. Pray that all sides or both sides would lay down their arms. Lord. Pray, Lord, that, that cooler heads would prevail in this situation. Lord. And Lord, we know according to your word, this, this peace will only be a temporary peace, as has happened, Lord. There are certain nations which are determined to destroy Israel, who say death to Israel. Lord, but Lord right now, Lord, we just pray for that there's some sort of ceasefire or settlement can happen, Lord, just to end the suffering of the innocents, Lord. And God, pray for, for your nation, your people, Lord, that they would turn to you, Jesus, and recognize you are their Savior, that you came to save them, Lord. We know that will happen. Um, we know that is happening in the lives of Jews. They're recognizing that Jesus, Yeshua, is their Savior, Lord. So we pray for the salvation. Pray for the protection of your people there, Lord. Pray for peace in other areas of the world too, Lord, in the Ukraine. Now it's been... About two and a half years, though, it's ongoing. And in so many ways, Lord, it's pointless. It's senseless. It does not have to happen, Lord. So again, we pray that the, the war would be brought to a close, Lord, um, even by a forceful hand from you, Lord. We're going to read today how you bring down one leader and you raise up another, Lord. If you need to bring down any leaders and raise up any different ones, Lord, I, just, I pray you would do that to bring about peace, Lord. Lord, we pray for the, for the baby that's just been born, just for the ex-co-worker that Regina knows, Lord, the baby at 29 weeks, Lord. Just, Lord, in that just sort of precious, a fragile state that the baby's in, I pray you'd protect that baby's life, Lord. I pray you'd just I pray for the health of the mother as well, too, Lord, that just they would be able to work through these next few weeks, just, uh, of just whatever your treatments or operations or, or care or blood transfusions, all those things happening, Lord. I pray for joy of birth for the mother and father. I pray that that would be greater than, than the stress of just the, the medical um, complications that are there now, Lord. And I pray in a few months, it'd just be just a healthy, normal uh, baby, Lord. And I pray for the salvation of the family, Lord. If they do not know you, in this time, Lord, may they turn to you and find you. In the time of their distress, Lord, the time of their need, may they call out to God and find you. And Lord, your word says, you're not far from any one of us, Lord. So we take confidence in that. God, I want to pray for Al Adams, Lord, and just uh, thank you that we've been got, got to know him a lot better in these past few months. Thank you for the good plans you have for his life, Lord. We don't always know what they are, and there's some uncertainty there, Lord. But your word says, Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans for hope and a future. Lord. And so, Lord, I just pray that over Al. I bless him, Lord, and God, I pray for these next few months that you would direct him, Lord. Just show him where he's to go. I pray for the people that he meets as well, too, Lord. There'll be, you know, there'll be people he meets on the road and the disaster relief and just whatever he does, Lord. I just pray you'd put the right companions into his path, Lord. And keep him safe while he's away, Lord. And, and yes, Lord, in the spring or in the new year, we would like to see him return here again, Lord. We pray for that in Jesus' name. God, I want to pray for anyone needing provision, any uh, material need those needing a place to live, those needing a job. Think of Krista. I believe she's been interviewing for a job, Lord. I just, yeah, I pray that the right job would come to her, Lord. Lord, I, uh, I pray as well for this church and just for our finances and the leadership meeting, Lord. And just, God, I just pray that we'd be healthy in our finances. I pray we'd make wise purchases. We would just be stewardly with the money that we have, Lord, that you would direct us with our priorities, Lord. And just give us all the wisdom we need. 
God, on, on Wednesday for the meeting. And Lord, may we be attentive to your wisdom. Lord, may we listen to you, hear, and then respond in obedience. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Uh, Elena, could I ask you to come up and pray for me for the message, please? Sorry, curveball surprising you, but I think you're, I think you're ready for it. Ah, dear Heavenly Father, as always, we come before you with thankful, grateful hearts, and we just want to lift up our dear Pastor Vince before your throne this morning. We ask that you anoint him. We ask that you bless him. We ask that you fill him with all wisdom, Lord, and we know that the words that you've given him to speak, may they come through loud and clear to our hearts, Lord. We want to welcome you, your Holy Spirit present. We welcome you here among us this morning. Speak to our hearts and speak to Pastor Vince as he brings your word and your truth that remains forever. We thank you for him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Yeah, we're good. So two weeks ago, uh, when, when I was last here, we started a, a, a message from the book of Daniel. We're going to look at a series of them, about four, I think, uh, at least three, probably a fourth, which is coming up any moment. Ed, yeah, Ed, sorry, Ed, we might, sorry to call you, we might need your help. The message is there, it's in the slide, so sorry, we're just trying to get the scriptures up. I mean, I, You're off, right? I am off, yes. All right. Sorry for the interruption. We're just trying to bring up the... Okay. And I, I mean, I have it on here if that's helpful, but I don't know if that is helpful. Maybe it's not. Okay. Well, Lord, we pray for the way forward and technological favor here. We can get this resolved. When in doubt, just power it off, power it back on. What we called in the Navy the ONOFF switch, if you follow. I mean, I, I did view it this morning to make sure it worked. Like, I, I know that threw things off, but anyway. Okay. Well, I, I can just preach as well, too, if it comes to that. <clears throat> 